There are so many options when it comes to coloring in, in your stamped images. The first one we're going to start with is um, using chalk to color in. And chalk gives a nice soft, um, a soft look, so it really doesn't matter if you stay within the lines or not. So here you can see I stamped the image in black and um, colored in just a little bit with the chalk. And all you do is take this little clip, clip onto your cotton or whatever those little things are, and rub it on your chalk and then simply place it on your image just like that. And you can either, either use the, this clip and the little cotton piece that comes with the chalk, or you can also use a Q-tip like this one. On this stamped image, I used uh, the smooch inks to color in. And I embossed the image first, because the embossing gives um, a, little raised, a little raised edge. So it's like a, a border that keeps the ink inside, um, and it keeps it inside the lines. So the smooch ink comes in these in lots and lots of colors in these cute little bottles that are kind of like nail polish bottles with a little tip that's not a brush it's a it's almost like a marker tip but it's it's kind of firm and you just get a little bit of ink and color in wherever you like it just like this and the smooch inks also have a little bit of shimmer, kind of a pearlescent. Gives a little pearlescent, shimmery look. If you can see that on there. Very pretty. On this image, I'm, I'm going to use the blender pen. This is the Dove Blender. And it comes with the blending medium that you fill the pen with yourself. And it, and it also comes with um, replacement tips. And it's basically um, a, clear, a clear liquid. Um, so you can use this on any of the colors that you're, that you're coloring, coloring with. And you can use it with markers or with ink pads. And I'm going to use a, an ink pad today to show you how you can use, I guess, use a, like a double duty with your ink pads and the blender pens. You can also use them on with um, chalks or with watercolor pencils to color in your images. So when you're using an ink pad, I have a scrap piece of acetate here, if you can see that. You just take your ink and put a little bit, a little dab on there. This is also good for blending colors too, if you want to get a different color than what you have in your ink. So you just pick up a little bit of ink with the blender pen, just like this and color it in. You can make it as dark as you want or blend it out like this, spread it out for a lighter color so you can get some shading, just like that. On this image, I'm gonna use the Spectrum Noir alcohol, alcohol pens to color in, the, color in the cake. And these are similar to Copic markers. These come in sets of six, and they have two different tips. They have a broad chisel tip and a fine, a finer tip. And I like to start with the lighter color. Um, here I've stamped my image with pigment ink, and I like to start with the lighter color um, and blend from there. You just work in a circular motion like this. I'm just going to do a little bit to show you. And then I go to the darker color for shading and just do a little bit, just a little line here. And then I go back again. There are lots of different um, techniques, but this is what I like to do for shading. I go back again with the lighter color and just kind of go along the edge and it kind of blends it to give a nice soft shadow. And here is a finished cake that's been completely colored in with the with these Spectrum Noir markers. And finally, the last one I want to show you is um, using brush tip markers 
to color your stamps. You can use the markers to color in an image, a stamped image, like with the chalks and the smooch inks and the other, the other methods, but you can also use markers to ink up your stamp and stamp a colored image. These are the brush tip markers. This is the primary set, and they also come in past, uh, this is the pastel set, and they also come in primary and dark colors too. So here I'm going, I'm going to use the magical birthday set and show you how to stamp with markers. I'm just going to take this cupcake here, place it on my acrylic block, just like that. Grab a color. The good thing about this method is you can use several colors on one stamp. So you simply just use the side of the marker and just go across the stamp like this. You don't need to get it into the grooves because you're not stamping with that anyway. You just go directly across. And if you want to get into the detail, you can use the fine tip to get in there. And I'm going to put a little bit on the stem of the cherry too. And these are good for word stamps too. Um, if you have a stamp with, you know, three or four different words with different fonts and you want to get a different uh, variety of colors or one color for each word or whatever, um, you can use it for that too. And then I'm going to use the pink, get a little pink frosting on here. And again, just going directly across the stamp. If you look closely, you can see where you've inked it up so that you don't miss any spots. Just like that. Then, if, um, if you're using a larger stamp and more, uh, more ink, it might dry out, so it's a good idea to um, huff on it or breathe on it just to get, add a little bit of moisture and revive the ink. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. And then you just stamp it onto your paper. Just like that. So as you can see, there are lots of different ways to stamp with colored images and to color in your, color in your stamped images.